Police moved into this area swiftly at 16th and K. As I was reporting live on a hot June day at Black Lives Matter Plaza, Deontay Coley was just steps away getting caught up in the chaos. I felt someone pushing me from behind. I turned around to see who it is and I'm surrounded by police. It was terrible because we was getting no response from the police other than to leave yet. They form a human chain preventing us from leaving. Coley says he just got back into town to try to hustle up some restaurant work. He was waiting for the bus when he says police moved in and changed his life. My property is gone. Along with cars towed and tents trashed, Coley says police snatched his backpack that was on the ground nearby and tossed it too throwing away all his personal belongings, his cell phone, ID, social security card, clothes, and 800 bucks. He's staying in a homeless shelter trying to rebuild his life. The community is now raising money to help. MPD offer no comment to any of the allegations. He was begging these officers not to take his stuff, and they could not care less. Attorney Jonathan Gitlin contacted Coley after he posted about his ordeal on Reddit. As the two sit in a conference room with the backdrop of the Constitution behind them, the attorney says he filed suit August 11th, seeking monetary damages from the city for violating Coley's civil rights. This kind of reckless disregard for constitutional rights, this kind of carelessness, in what they've done, this kind of callousness by the police officers, this cannot be tolerated in the District of Columbia. What they did was wrong. A spokesperson from the mayor's office said they do not comment on pending litigation. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.